In this episode, I want us to show a list of ratings down here. And then after that, we'll start working on our shopping cart. So we'll go to up, then we'll go to product here. And here we had this page. In this page, right here, we listed the product details and I'll list the rating uh, below this product details. So here, I'll simply add a div. Here we'll be having two things. The first one will be add rating, but we'll cover this later on during the course. And then we'll also have another one here. And here is where now we will having our list of rating. Okay. So here we can add some styles for this display flex, then flex call margin to the top will be 20. And we'll have a gap of four between the two. And I save. Awesome. We need to create a component that will help us to list the rating. We can create it just right here. So I'll just add a new file and I'll say list rating dot tsx. I hit enter status functional component list rating for now. Let's say div here and I'll make this to be a client component and we will receive several props. So let's use an interface here and we'll say list rating props. We will receive just the product for this. For now, let's just say any right here. We destructure the product, but we should also pass our interface here. So react.fc angle brackets, then list rating props. So the first thing here is that we'll be having a heading. And for this, I want to create a new component that we will reuse across the application. So at our components, you can just come at the root and add a new file. And I call this file heading.tsx. So from this, we'll have an interface. This will be the heading props. Let's define these props. We'll have a title, which is a string. And then we will have center. And this will be optional. So it will be Boolean like that. Let's come right here. We create this component SFC. And we'll say this is the heading. It will receive those props. Then here, full colon, react.fc. We pass our heading props in the, inside the angle brackets. In here, we receive those props. We destructure them. We destructure title. Then we destructure center. Then we can use that right here. I'll use a div. We'll have a h1. And right here, we will pass our title like that. Then right here, we can have a class name that is dynamic. So I use this. We'll say, does center exist? So if it does, we'll show text center. Else, we will show text at the start. Then for this heading, let's save. Uh, and I can minimize this actually. And then right here, let's have a class name. And font will be bold. And also we'll have a text size of 2 Excel. And I save. Awesome. So now we can make use of this heading right here. So I'll say heading. I click on it to auto import, but it expects us to pass the title. And we can say this is the product space review. Like that. If I happen to save, we don't see anything. We just see list. So we can hook this list rating right here at our list. Instead of this div, we will say list rating. It expects us to pass a prop, which is product. And we pass our product and we save. So now there we go. Product review. Now here I have a div 
where we will map through uh, the different reviews so first of all let's add a class name for this and i'll make text to be small and also merge into the top of two and in here now i'll use uh, curly brackets we will check if our product dot reviews exist so product dot reviews and and we now take our product again dot reviews and we call dot map method here we pass an arrow function that will return something here so return a div now this arrow function will now be able to get a review at a time so review and i know it will complain about the type for now we can set it to any and for this div it expects us to have a key and we can use the review id so review dot id then we'll have a class name we will set the max width for our review to be 300 px and we will be having two parts of the review so if we come to this one you see we have this section where we show the name and the time then we have this section where we show the rating and the comment so right here let's start with the user profile so here i'll have a div so for now i'll add a placeholder we'll add an avatar in the next episode then after that avatar we will be having another div that will have the username so here let's get the username from review dot user dot name so we can use this to make sure that uh, if the user doesn't exist then we don't show it then right here you'll have a div here we will show the time that that review uh, was created so here we will use moment uh, i don't think we have installed moment yet so i'll say npm i moment and hit enter that will install moment in our application and we can use it to format the dates so i'll hide that and now right here i'll say moment make sure it's being auto imported there we call it and here i'll pass the review date so review dot created date and then at the end here dot from now and i invoke that from now and save so right here you should be able to see when that review was created and we see two reviews this one and this one so here i'll add a class name and we'll display flex we'll have a gap of two and then we will have items at the center like that i save now they should show this way awesome so for this one uh, we'll work on that down for this one let us add a class name and we'll set the font to be semi bold and i save and this is semi bold this one will make it light so here let's add a class name and we'll make the font to be light the next thing is to show the actual reviews so make sure that you are after this div right here you add another div we can start by adding a class name and we'll set margin to the top of two and then in here i'll tab we will use the rating component from material ui so bring that in and we show the rating for this uh, particular review so value will be review dot rating actually this is rating um, and then we have read only i save and that should show there we go so for this we have this after rating we should show the comment itself so i'll use a div and here we just say review dot comment and we add a class name margin to the left of two and i save and there we go good enough and so on so the spacing is not okay and what i'll do is that right here i'll add a separator and i'll add a hr tag so hr i'll add some styles include some 
merge into the top of 4 and that will create good spacing and merge into the bottom of 4 as well and that way we'll individually see each comment there we go so now we see this one and we see this one but we don't have the avatar yet so let's create that in the next episode and then we will wrap up this section for working with the product later on we'll come back work on this add rating component here to create the rating so there we'll be working with the db that's why i'll ignore it for now